He's a superstar with superstar credentials who's now playing again like a superstar, and the Cubs don't have that guy. Dansby is a great baseball player, but he is not a superstar in Major League Baseball. Cody Bellinger has been a superstar in Major League Baseball and is starting to play like that guy again. That's yeah, why you that, can't let him go away. I think that's where the, the the caveat that I said earlier of like he's got he's got two more months right to kind of prove it because if you really think about it, he's been really good for two months and has been not as good and hurt for two months this season. So it's really been half the season thus far uh, of of really really good Cody Bellinger. And yes, he you know won the Rookie of the Year in seventeen, won the MVP in nineteen, also had two plus really bad years right. Um, injuries played a part in that and, and him being healthy, I think has played a part in uh, most of this season, him being kind of resurgent superstar looking like Cody Bellinger. Um, but I think the caveat still remains that you got to give him the end of the season, right? Like w- people were ready to give him the extension in April at the end of April. And we saw what happened in the next two months. Like it wasn't Cody Bellinger, right? Um, I want to see him get to the end of the season before I like, am ready to stamp him as a superstar again. Um, I think, him being healthy i think the way he's playing now i think he can do it um but i do i do want to see him finish the season um strong you know healthy finish it strong he's playing well he's playing good on both sides of the ball i need to see that before i'm ready to say like give him superstar type money is is it that, fair to compare caveat. him to chris bryant is, is that a fair comparison guys that were i think so yeah of the year mvp injuries have derailed them and Obviously, they're they're not lining up. They're not going the same direction at the same time. And and maybe KB will never capture that again. But it looks like Bellinger is recapturing that. Yes, yeah, to me I, that I, way they're similar. Fair. I think that's fair. I think the you know the way their career started, the way the next few seasons have gone for them. I think that's a pretty fair comparison. Yeah, I mean, what going in the off season when the Cubs signed him, we all kind of you know had the idea of if he could get back to where he was, a lot of that would be due to perhaps Cubs new hitting coach. That was his hitting coach with the Dodgers. Um, Excuse me. The ability to stay on the field and change the scenery. And I think, you know, yeah, the, the, I don't give him a lot of flack for the injury because he got in the injury is from an unreal catch he made in center field in Houston. So it's not like he right. got hurt running the bases, like pulling his hamstring or something like that. Or, you know, I, I don't know. Like it's, it was, you know, it was a injury that like you can't, you can't measure if this guy's injury prone because of this, but he's the change of scenery has definitely been a thing and no one talks about it, but I do think the Cubs hitting coach that, you know, used to be his in LA has played some part in it. I, I do think that, that that has. And then just the fact that when he has played, he has been healthy. And so, you know, he's healthy. He's playing like a superstar MVP type player. So it's a, it's a, it's interesting how, you know, those years in LA, how bad they were. It makes you wonder, like, did he really just need the change of scenery or was he actually playing hurt a lot? Like, I, I don't know, but I'm just glad that he landed in the Cubs' hands, and they they now control their own destiny with him. I'm I'm with Ryan. Like I would, for the most part, like I would I want to see him the rest of the year continue to do. I'm not going to expect July numbers in August and September, but just continue to be, you know, this five tool guy that is valuable that that plays the defense that he plays and and gives you quality at bats even when he does make outs, forcing pitchers to throw a lot of pitches, take walks hit the ball over the field. That's another thing. Like he doesn't, he's not a a left-handed pull hitter. Like he is spraying the ball all over the field. Like if he just continues to do that, all those things, that that's a guy that you're going to want around. So, yeah. 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 That's I'm, I'm, all I'm saying is like, I need to keep seeing it. Right. Like I'm not, I'm not ready to say, I'm not ready to say, give him superstar money right now. I'd like to see it to the end of the season. And, you know, I guess we, I guess I'm going to start saying like, ready to see those ready to see that happen the last two months while with the Cubs. Right. I think, right. I think, I think we're in that position now. I think we're in that position where these Cubs might actually buy or not. sell. So.